Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. I hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday season. I know I am and I'm having so much fun. I wanted to announce something that I've been working on for months and that is my very first Pokemon card charity auction. I know a lot of people have been wanting to purchase Pokemon cards for me. I am actually not a Pokemon card seller. I really focus on just collecting Pokemon cards and I very rarely sell Pokemon cards off, but I think this is a great time to do some good. That is why I'm partnering with eBay to create my own small Pokemon card charity auction where 10% of the proceeds will go towards the World Health Organization Foundation, which supports doctors and healthcare systems across the whole entire globe. They do plenty of good uh, protecting so many people from diseases, and I think this is a great time to give back as well as auctioning off some really cool Pokemon cards, and I'm really excited because there are some very expensive Pokemon cards that I have up for auction that I think a lot of people are gonna be excited to receive. As well, we also have a ton of smaller size auctions, so don't feel like you have to purchase something really expensive to help out it's gonna be a lot of fun so I can't wait to share with you guys all the Pokemon cards that I'm gonna have up for auction uh, one more thing before we get started all of these auctions are going to be available internationally so whether you're in Canada the United Kingdom Germany Netherlands wherever you live you can bid on these auctions what I found out when I was doing my uh, 1000 winner giveaway was that there are so many uh, people across the globe that are interested in Pokemon card that there is no way I could contain any of this to just the United States. So yes, you can win these auctions wherever you live. All right, first up, we have ourselves a Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. I know this was one of the boxes that I've opened recently, and it is a really solid Elite Trainer Box, whether you want to keep it sealed or open, there's plenty of values in this. I think in our last Elite Trainer Box, we opened up a Shining Rayquaza, which is a super great card. That was part of the community portfolio, and I think that's a card that we're going to be voting soon on whether we want to get it rated or not. A PSA 10 Shining Rayquaza is worth well over $300, so this is a really solid product with some great card. You do get a Shining Ho-Oh inside of this Elite Trainer Box, and that is another great card that is worth, you know, over $200 in a PSA 10 condition. As well, it's a great display piece, and we've opened a couple of them on the channel. Next up, I'm gonna be auctioning off a couple of the Shiny Star V booster boxes. Uh, I opened up a couple of these in December, and they were fantastic. This is such a fun, uh, booster box to open. It is a lot of fun. There's an ultra rare inside of every single booster pack. There's also amazing rares and it's a great little display piece. I've had it on my shelf for quite a while and I really enjoy it. It fits right in with all the other uh, special booster boxes from Japan. Really solid one. I wanted to keep the auction varied, so we're not gonna have just expensive items. There's gonna be some cheap, affordable items as well. We're gonna have a Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box up for uh, sale. This is another great Elite Trainer Box. It's got the fat Pikachu on it. I know a lot of people find it really adorable. The more I look at this Elite Trainer Box, the more I enjoy it. It's very interesting the way that they drew it. Uh, the tail, if I actually bring it up close, you'll notice that the tail is kind of jagged and doodly, almost like they didn't even try to draw it. Which is interesting because the Pikachu is like perfectly aligned and then you look at the tail and it's all almost like drawn by a, a wiggly Sharpie. It's really interesting the more I look at it, the more I enjoy it. It's clearly designed to be an art piece and I really like it. All right, we're also gonna have some more sealed products up for sale, including booster boxes. We have a Sword and Shield Darkness, a Blaze booster box up for sale. Really solid box. Of course, everyone knows how iconically yellow the design of this box is compared to all other, very distinct. It's also got the Charizard on the front, the Gigantamax Charizard, a really cool booster box. You can definitely pull yourself some very expensive cards inside of it. And talking about expensive cards, we're also gonna have a, a Burning Shadow booster box up for auction. This is a really solid uh, booster box, and it's probably gonna be one of those ones that are gonna really jump up in value in a couple of years. A very solid uh, booster box comes with the hyper rare 
Charizard GX and everyone knows how solid this booster box is. Of course, completely sealed, nice, encapsulated, ready for display, a great booster box, and they're only gonna really go up in value with how Burning Shadows is officially out of print. The next product we're gonna have up for sale, and I think a lot of people are gonna recognize this, and that is gonna be a sealed Armor Mewtwo Fall 2019 collector's chest, a really solid, little product came out in 2019 for the price of $25 I think and this thing has been climbing so fast it is such an expensive product right now I think it's going for like over $150 right now for a sealed tin it's pretty ridiculous and the big reason for that is everyone wants a armor Mewtwo car this thing is the big bad boy as well as the clone Charizard. I don't think the clone Charizard is too bad either, but both of those cards in a PSA 10 condition can fetch you well over a thousand dollars, which is why a lot of people are hunting this chest. It's also just such an iconic and historical chest that I think it'll look great on a shelf, just sealed and just to be enjoyed. You don't really have to open it up and grade the cars to enjoy this product at all. Next up, we have the B Special Collection box. Up for auction, you might have seen Max Mofo open this exact box. It's a really solid display piece, and you can definitely keep it sealed or open it. Both will work just great. It's solid as a product on its own, and I think it's a really cool display piece as well. Inside of this special box, it comes with a very iconic playmat. I don't know why they don't do more playmats like these. A very cool design, comes with some sleeves, deck box, and the whole entire case will work to keep your collection in. A really cool product. I don't know why they don't do more stuff like this in the United States. If you want stuff like this, you're gonna have to purchase them from Japan, which is very difficult. This item is already completely sold out. So yeah, great product if you're looking to get one of these inside of your collection. We are also going to have some vintage booster packs up for sale. I know these are going to be highly desirable and they were super expensive for a certain point during the whole entire uh, Logan Paul experience and they are still very, very popular. Very first up, we're going to have a base set unlimited Venusaur long pack. These are very hard to find. Uh, definitely something that most collectors want inside their collection. It's a great little display piece and it's just great to show off. It's fun to tell people that, hey, you have some 1999 sealed Pokemon cards inside of this booster pack. Very solid. It doesn't even have the hole punch through yet and going to be a great little display piece for someone. We're also going to have a jungle booster packs up for sale. 11 additional game cards. Ah, oh, got the Scyther design, also a long pack. These are meant to be hanged up on the uh, little display pieces in the store and meant to be sold as an individual booster pack. One thing that I really like about these booster packs is that they actually tell you the odds inside of the little pack here. It actually says you get one in 33 cards is going to be premium and that is something that honestly Pokemon has kept forever. So what that actually means is you're probably going to get a hollow in one of every three packs. So we've kept the same odds for pack opening ever since the start of Pokemon. Next up, we're going to have a, wow, a base set unlimited Charizard booster pack up for sale. These are so hard to find. This one actually came from a booster box. I've had it for a little while. And it's a really solid booster booster pack. I really like the design. Oh no, looks like there's a tiny little bit of a tear up on the top right corner. That's gonna be noted inside of the auction listing, but still a really solid booster box. I don't think that's gonna really harm the displayability of this booster pack. As well, you can always open it up. I don't weigh any of my booster packs. These could be heavy or light. Uh, most likely they're gonna be light though because a lot of times I'm purchasing from other eBay vendors and those eBay vendors are probably going to have them weighted already. Next up, we're going to have a Platinum Booster Pack up for sale, a little bit more affordable, uh, a little bit more new, but definitely I would say still vintage. A fairly old Booster Pack. Uh, let's see what year did this come out in. 
Wow, it even has the old, oh, 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 we don't wanna, we don't wanna mess with that. You can see that they actually sealed it down, so I know that this is actually a sealed booster pack and untampered with. Yeah, one of the cheaper booster packs that we're gonna have up for auction. Like I said, I wanted to have some affordable options so you didn't actually have to overspend on anything you wanted to support charity. The base set uh, Spanish booster pack, I actually have quite a few of these. These are really cool. I think the Spanish set is doing really solid. There are just so many um, Latin and Hispanic and Spanish speaking uh, communities inside of the Pokemon collector world that I think these sets are getting just more and more expensive for the Spanish booster packs. I actually think we have the whole entire set for sale. We have the Blastoise, the Venusaur, and the Charizard. I think if you're interested at all, this is going to be a great display piece. Uh, the fact that it's Spanish doesn't really bother me too much. These have grown in value so much in 2020, it's not even a joke. I think at some point, I remember these being like $40 a booster pack, an absolute steal. And now you're gonna struggle to find even a Spanish base set unlimited booster pack for under $200. Uh, we're also gonna have some Japanese booster packs up for sale. I know these are absolute classic and a lot, of, lots of people really enjoy them. 291 yen is what it cost. This came from 1996. We got a bunch of uh, Pokemon cards in here with the original Pocket Monster design. This is such early artwork and I really love it. I don't know why they don't do artwork like this anymore, but this is classic watercolor Pokemon cards. Uh, really cool art design and a great piece to have inside of your collection. One of the very first booster packs for the game, 1996 guys, 25th anniversary just around the corner, just so shows how old it is. Next up, we're also gonna sell off and auction off for charity, a fossil Japanese booster packs. I love the artwork on the Japanese booster packs. They're just so gorgeous, so vibrant, so much going on. I don't know why they don't do this for the other sets. I think the fossil English uh, booster packs just look a little bit more boring compared to this. Like there's just so much going on. You know instantly uh, why it's called a fossil set. There's so many fossil Pokemon on the front artwork. It's great. The pack design is gorgeous, vibrant. There's just so much going on, and this is going to be a really solid booster pack. I don't see any blemish at all, and this booster pack is so old, so this is definitely gonna be a fun one to see auction off. Outside of seal products, you bet we're gonna have some graded Pokemon cards up for sale, and boy, do I have some juicy Pokemon cards that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in. Uh, if you watch my video, then you know what kind of Pokemon card collector I am. I highly recommend that if you're in the hobby, then you need to find a niche. Honestly, Pokemon card collecting is just too vast and big for you to collect every single Pokemon card. A lot of people, find it better to have a niche inside of the hobby. This could be vintage, this could be trophy cars, whatever it is. A lot of people end up finding a niche or a series of cards that they enjoy more than other. And for me, that has always been the uh, Pikachu promo cards. I think these are some of the best Pokemon cards in the hobby. Honestly, the artwork is just insane for Pikachu promo cards and we're gonna have some really cool cards up for sale and I'm gonna be really excited to see what the sale price on these cards are going to be. Uh, first up, we're gonna have a set of the Uniqlo Pikachu cards. These are some of the rarest and hardest finding Pokemon cards in the hobby. I remember when these were going for $100 like four years ago and on so many forums, people were saying like, these cars were 50 or $40 and people were complaining about how expensive they were. Well, now I think this uniquely, this unique little Pikachu, warm Pikachu is going for well over a thousand dollars. It was a very short campaign that was related to Uniqlo, a clothing brand in Japan. You had to purchase some clothing and you get one of the promo cards. It was a very short campaign. There were not a, many of these cards given out and these are pretty much the only set of Pokemon cards that are related to the winter holiday at all. That one was a PSA 10. Here we have a PSA
PSA 9, even a PSA 9 is super hard to get. These are so rare, I would honestly take these in any condition right now. Like any condition you can find these in is going to be good enough because that's how rare these are. A uh, really solid set. Each one is drawn by a different artist and they have some really cool little design. At the very bottom, you can actually see the Uniqlo uh, Japanese logo right there. Some of the 2014 promo. Here we have a PSA 6, which means it's still in excellent condition. You won't really see too much of a flaw with a PSA 6 even. Really solid set. And the final one, and I think one of the more desirable one, is going to be that female Pikachu. There were four cards in the warm Pikachu set. Really adorable Pikachu. Uh, female with the tail right there. Cool card in excellent condition. I think this is going to be a fun set to display. You can see that there really isn't even that many flaws with a PSA 4. Uh, the grades are very picky. This is a super fun set, and I think it's going to be fun to see what the sale prices on these cards are going to be. All right, let's see what else Jake has up for auction. Next up, we're gonna have a screen promo set up for auction. This is a PSA 9 uh, screen promo Psyduck related to the Edvard Munch uh, promotion that was happening in Japan in 2018. They had a, a display of Edvard Munch who was the artist for the Scream artwork. And as a part of the promotion, the museum as well as Pokemon Center were selling some uh, screen promo Pokemon cards. These are so cool because they are so out there, you know. You can barely tell that they're Pokemon cards. These are closer to fine art at this point. And these are fun collector's pieces. They've risen in value so much in 2020. And wow, here we actually have my favorite card from 2018. And that is the Scream Pikachu. This card is so hard to find in a PSA 10 condition nowadays. I remember when this card was selling for $100 and now I think it's going for over $2,000. It's so insane how popular this card was and is and I think honestly it's well deserved. Uh, it just took some it just took people some time to notice and recognize that wow, these are really extraordinary pieces. If you're a high-end collector, I don't think you have any issue at all having these inside of your collection. These are going to be great display pieces. They're going to be eye-catching. So many people are going to look at them and say, "Wow, what are those?" and you're going to be the fun person to say, "Ah, allow me to get you involved in the world of Pokemon cards with the Scream promos. Uh, they are a great display piece. They really show off how unique Pokemon cards are. And they're some of the best modern Pokemon cards that have risen in value. And honestly, there's nothing to complain about. These are just great pieces. Great display pieces, great um, collectible pieces, and high growth pieces for sure. Uh, there just aren't that many of these left on the market, and they're never going to be reprinted. This is a once-in-a-lifetime a once event, honestly, so you're not going to really see uh, these cards ever be reprinted. And honestly, it's a great piece to just combine Pokemon cards with fine art. I highly would love it for them to do more cards like these. Imagine if there was like a Leonardo da Vinci set. Oh my goodness, those cards would be so amazing. As well, we're going to also have some trophy cards up for sale. I've talked about these before and I think they're super cool. If you're looking for an affordable trophy card, this is it. This is your affordable trophy cards. These are the 2009 Victory Medal Series and it is a really solid series of cards that comes in the gold first place, the silver second place, and the bronze third place. A really, really solid series of cards. Very hard to find. Uh, to win these, you had to go and play in tournaments in Japan, and they were very difficult. Not many of these were handed out. The conditions of these cards are all in PSA 10 condition. So these are gem mint, says right there, for the winner of the Pokemon card game. If you're looking for some trophy cards inside of your Pokemon card collection, then this is pretty much it. You're probably not going to be able to afford a, you know, 50,000, 400,000, 
100,000 Pokemon card, but these are much more affordable. They range right around $8,000, which is significantly more affordable than any other trophy cards, and they're great display pieces. We have the whole entire set, bronze, silver, and gold up for sale, as well as an individual gold. This is a great display piece. If you're not looking for the whole entire set, then the one you're going to want is the first place victory medal. Uh, these have been risen in value so much this year as well, and it's well-deserved. There are so few of these victory medal cards around anymore. Great display pieces, and I still consider these Pikachu cards and one of the more adorable uh, trophy cards that is available. We are also going to have a Faramosa and Buzzwell Tag Team GX card up for sale. If you're wondering where this came from, it actually came from my very first $50 mystery box at the start of this year. This was one of the very first mystery box, if not the first mystery box I ever opened. And this Tag Team GX card came inside of it. PSA 9, I just think it's a cool card. And hopefully someone's going to enjoy getting a card that came from one of the video. So that's a cool card. We're also going to have some more Pikachu cards because I just can't get enough of selling or auctioning off some Pikachu cards that are part of my collection. And this includes a Playing in the Sea Pikachu, a really cool card. We've talked about this card once or twice on the channel and I really dig it. It's a fun card, Pikachu Surfing from 2019. Check out how hyper-realistic that wave is. It's such a cool card. And if you're interested in Pikachu cards at all, then this is one that's gonna be fun to have inside of your collection for sure. Next up, we're gonna have some of my personal favorite cards, which is the Pretend Boss Pikachu cards. These are a little bit harder to find in the hobby. You can see how it has a very unique hollow pattern. And this is actually Pikachu pretending to be uh, Guzma, the the boss of Team uh, Team Skull. Wow, what a cool card! Uh, I'm a huge fan of Guzma. I just think it's funny to see a an evil team boss be just like a hip hop gang. Team Skull is just a fun team to really talk about. So yeah, a fun card. Next up, we're gonna have another card up for sale and this is going to be the Team Flare uh, Pretend Boss Pikachu and I believe that is Pikachu uh, cosplaying as Lysander uh, from Team Flare, a really cool card as well. I like how each one you can tell the personality. This is a classic Lysander pose. You can actually look up picture of Lysander and he'll be doing this exact stance. I just think it's a really cool card. Uh, next up, and this one is going back. This is Pikachu pretending to be uh, Maxi, the boss of Team Magma. Wow, that is taking it back from Ruby and Sapphire. A really cool card. Of course, the evil Team Maxi was trying to use the power of Groudon to bring land to the whole entire world. And they had a big battle be between Team Magma and Team Aqua between land and sea. Both really cool. I remember this plot line so much because it was a great plot line. Great story, great game. Loved Ruby and Sapphire. And finally, we have a Poncho Pikachu up for sale. This is going to be Pikachu cosplaying and dressing up in a Rowlet Poncho to... Uh, to announce the official reopening of the Pokemon Center in Tohoku. A really cool card if you're a Rowlet fan, if you're a fan of Sun and Moon, if you're a Pikachu Poncho collector, then this is going to be a fun card to have inside of your collection. I know a lot of people are a fan of the Poncho Pikachus, including myself, because check out that background. So this is going to be a cool card, going to be up for the charity auction, going to be going to a great collector, I'm sure of it. Alright guys, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I was not able to showcase every single lot that was up for auction. We have a lot of other cool lots up for auction, such as that Vivid Voltage uh, booster box. I think that's going to be a fun one to see auction off. I'm actually excited to see what all of these uh, cards go for. It's going to be a lot of fun. I put a lot of thought into this and I hope we get to do some good in this charity auction and I will definitely let you guys know what the selling prices for some of these are going to be because I know some of these cards are going to be really highly sought after. 
I think the one that's going to be the most interesting is going to be that PSA 10 Warm Pikachu. I know a lot of people are really excited to see this card go up for auction. It's a very hard card to find and a lot of other Pikachu collectors are going to be clamoring to get this card specifically. Uh, certainly a lot of other cool auctions as well. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope we do some good and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.